Welcome back, guys, to Pokemon Legends Arceus. For well, last episode, we took to filling more of our Pokedex by first catching a Magby and evolving Basque Legion while clearing out the Magmas and then using various evolution items to evolve even more and even evolving our own mythical Cherim. After accepting a nine-star promotion, we then returned to the Obsidian Fillands with a massive mass outbreak having returned, finishing the clearance of free outbreak sites to now continue the Daybreak Update questline by consulting at the hairdressers. Oh, well, Alexandria, Mrs. Calabas waiting for you. Come on in. Be just deleting Pokemon from my list. Oh, the list is getting quite small. I heard all about those massive mouse outbreaks. I bet there's some sort of Pokemon festival in the rain. It's like what I heard from a customer who came here from Johto. Apparently on nights with a full moon, Clefairy get together and dance. It's basically a gathering of Pokemon that only happens when certain conditions are met. Sounds pretty similar to massive mass outbreaks, don't you think? Always during a heavy storm. So massive mass outbreaks could be a festival for Pokemon to enjoy the rainstorms. You really think so? It seems to me you're still biting your tongue, Olesu. Have you heard anything else? Well, I did hear something weird from a Diamond Clan friend of mine. What was it? They said they saw a mass outbreak of alphas in the Crimson Mylands. But seriously, do alphas ever gather in groups? My friend must have made a mistake, right? No, I saw that. Alphas grouping together. This is part of a massive mass outbreak. It sounds dangerous. Even the Lady of the Ridge would be no match for a mass outbreak of alphas. It's natural to worry about the unknown. That's why Olisandria is investigating this for us, no? To put our concerns to rest. You're right. Seems our next step is to investigate the Crimson Mylands. Question is, which Pokemon can I catch there? Hippo down. Barboach I have not got. They're both definitely there at this point in time. So let's get on our way. I think we're actually within a state of being within 10 Pokemon. Are you ready to head to the Crimson Mylands with me? Yes, I am. Excellent. Let's be off to the Mylands camp for some massive mass outbreak research. So the first time... We get it to be a mass outbreak. And we've really got to work on the objective. The thing is, Barboat should be in this river right here. Seems a massive mass outbreak has sprung up here in the Crimson Mylands too. Let's try to determine if this phenomenon occurs here as it does in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Hey ho, little people. No need to fret. Melly has arrived. What do you want? I heard rumors that you've been investigating massive mass outbreaks or some such, but I, Melee, have already solved this mystery. All that remains is to gather evidence. Wow, really? Not bad, Melee. The reason these Pokemon have been mysteriously gathering in rainstorms is... Is... To give praise to the great Melee, naturally. Don't look so sour, you two. I realize it's a difficult truth to accept right away, but the aura I inspire as both sun and shadow to Alaman is clearly apparent to Pokemon. And as thanks for your adorable efforts in proving my theory true, I'll give you this generous reward. Go on, take them. They are guava berries. Quite a rarity here in Sui, you know. 20. Berry that can be fed to a Pokemon to restore its HP by up to half its max. If a wild Pokemon that hates bitter flavors eats one of these berries, it will briefly pause. As for why these Pokemon gathered during rainstorms, well, that's surely to represent how I'm simply overflowing with wonderful qualities. And with that nugget of wisdom, I shall be off. He was very shy and withdrawn as a child, until one day when he announced he was going to work hard to help Adaman. I was happy to see him grow more optimistic, but I fear he may have taken that to, uh, extremes. What are guava berries? Where could he have found them? Munchlax, did you just eat some of the Agua bellies? Munchlax covered up five of them. What's this? It looks like your fancy map is responding to Munchlax again. Oh. I mean... Super O, because... Right in the middle, there's Cyndaquil, there's... It's two nice little ones. Goomies. 
What? What's what, what's what is the difference with the ones with the things on them then? Are those only showing up because we fed it berries? And then there's ones. Those are alphas then, yeah? Maybe. Ah, now the map shows not only outbreak locations, but the Pokemon there as well. What does this mean, Munchlax? While massive mass outbreaks are ongoing, you can give a quad berries to Mize Munchlax to find out what Pokemon are appearing at each mass outbreak location. So is that actually just an increased chance of shiny, is it? Pokemon icons with a sparkle mark the locations of special mash outbreaks, while those with berry indicate mass outbreaks where you may be able to receive a guard bellies. Be sure to make the most of these to help out with your investigations and do massive mass outbreaks. So if we keep feeding Munchlax the guard berries, we'll be able to learn more about these outbreaks. Munchlax, what exactly is it you're trying to get us to understand? Whatever this all means, please investigate three massive mass outbreak locations in the Crimson Islands so we can compare these outbreaks to those we found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Yes, ma'am. Oh god, it's really hard to see in this weather. Uh, I guess I should either go to the Gumi one or the Quilava one then, really. Because it would make more sense for me to start getting... more. That's way up. They just tell me what Pokemon are where. Yes. As we've learned sometimes, it makes a lot more sense for me to be up a tier. And hunting them from above. Though maybe they're a little too high up. Or low down, really. They're unfortunately hard to find, like catch from up here as well. That one's really legging it after all. Well, they know I'm up here now. Yeah, they're slightly out of range. Oh, I can scare them off? Well, excellent. That's one way of clearing it. I mean, I'll try to catch them all the same, but if I can scare them off too, I'm cool with that. <laughs> yeah, that's one. So I got an Aguav Berry for everyone I caught then. So I should probably head to this one next. I guess this is a shiny hunter's dream. And after like 100 plus Volt Orbs trying to find one that was Alpha, oh, I only found an Alpha one when I finally got a mass outbreak of them. With lava as them. You didn't see me, honest. I only caught one. At level 30, I've gotten a battle with three of them, which is kind of disappointing. This is definitely not the ideal way to catch them, or even beat them. Because things like that will happen.
I'm using Drain Punch from now on, to be perfectly fair. If they live, they live. If they don't, they don't. Do I take burn every turn? I better calm mind, actually. That extra attack power can keep me alive. So beating each one of them should get me in a Guard Berry too. I will take the HP. It lost its fervor to roll out. I mean, it didn't use roller, that's for sure. It's very irritating. So the smoke bomb isn't going to hang around long enough. That's just a swim type lotion. We can also get the absolute full evolution too. How'd I miss that? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I mean, I guess I'll take it. Okay, they both see me? No, one doesn't. Okay, now I've taken out that one. I should fight the other two. Goodness for avoidance. <laughs> what a weird quest line. Alright, so that's that mass outbreak done. So if I'm going to go for another one, I should go for one of these shiny ones. See what they're about. In terms of any differences. It looks like I'm on a good... Okay, at least here I've got good grass. Fun away me from that far downtown. You're running away, are you? I actually don't mind if they leg it. Wait, you got gone? I thought it was you. Oh, my balls. What did I hit then? Oh, we ran away. So we got one that's ran all the way up into the corner over here. Oh, he turned around just in time. You are the only Patulusu that is blocking me from what I need. I'm gonna knock down the tree to get you. What? You didn't give me all your HP? 
Oh, that's fine. A new horde? Oh, goodness. Well, I guess I, uh... I got part one done, but then trouble happened. Oh, how much, like, grit dust do you get from this stuff? Experience candy is what I'm getting here. I guess this is how you get shiny alphas as well. I was wondering how that would work out as a whole, but... That level 75?! I actually caught every single one of them. That's the thing. Alright, so that's the obsidian fieldlands bit done, I guess. I say, where are you to report to? Oh, don't walk me back home. I need to stay here and catch the Pokemon I'm after. I hear you finished your investigation in the Crimson Mylands. Well done, Alexandria. Arita is here to help us. What happens twice will happen thrice or so, they say. Massive mass outbreaks seem likely to occur in the Cobalt Coastlands and other areas as well, so I've been discussing the issue with Arita. Why don't we demonstrate to her what has been keeping us so busy? We can turn our investigation to the Cobalt Coastlands next. I guess much that I know what's been keeping you busy is eating. Don't worry, you'll get your berries. Well, I still wonder, what lies behind Munchlax's strange reaction to eating agua bellies? How does he know which Pokemon are gathering where during a massive mass outbreak? He's got superpowers! Perhaps. Hopefully our investigations will shed some light on this mystery. Well, let me offer you a hand. I've learned some things about massive mass outbreaks myself. I knew the leader of the Pearl Clan could help us. Mysterious goings on in Vasta Sweep piqued my interest, after all. And on top of that, we're friends. I'll always come if you ask for help. Friends? we have seen each other around before, but after talking more at the Harmony Festival, we found we agreed on a lot of things. Such as how exactly we think Adamant is doing as a leader. And we decided we'd help each other out, despite being from different clans. Anyway, that's how I got involved with the investigation in the coastlands. And I heard from Miss and Lena that they'd both seen something that was like a mass outbreak. But stranger! What are your thoughts on these massive mass outbreaks, Arida? Well, I wonder what about them causes Pokemon to flock together this way. Perhaps there's been some shift in space because of Mighty Palkia's appearance. I'd certainly be glad to have more Pokemon around. It would help his sweep flourish. It's too early to conclude it's all for the best. Hordes of strong Pokemon could be dangerous. I'll be sure to warn Lena to be careful too. I'll head to Jubilee Village once I wrap up a few things here. We can meet at the front gates when it's time to sail on our next investigation. Alright, request 97 gets me even more iron chunks. In fact, they seem to be supplying me with balls of various types, really, when you think about it. Like, well, Gary, I guess I better keep them on me when I think about that. Considering we can feed a certain someone this stuff. Right, we should be able to make... Yeah, we've got loads of iron chunks. Uh, I'll make, like, five gigaton balls, just in case there's anything flying. I should definitely make some more jet balls. 28. I mean, to be honest, I should make more of these balls and just buy ultra balls. Twerks in my mind. Right. We still got some Pokemon to catch here. That's for certain. Uh, we're not going for the mass outbreaks. We're going for actual Pokemon. That said, the weather doesn't make it that easy to see them. So if I'm right in saying, somewhere down this stream should be a Barboach. We've definitely seen them before. I think if I go fast, I'm not going to see them. They might be a little bit further down near the ruins, though. Funny if they don't spawn when it's raining. I say funny, but it actually would be monstrously irritating. 
But I think where I've seen them is just over here. Right here. That's Barboach, right? I haven't caught one yet. That's one more to the Pokedex. The other Pokemon that we need to catch here is Hippodome. Which we can catch elsewhere. But considering the trouble this guy gave me all the way over here, I think I'm going to go get him. All that time back, remember? He's not there right now, is he? No, he is. There he is. Big boy's here. How'd I miss? You can't see me! I can't crouch. I gotta say, this, is, this was problematic for me on many points here. Alright, we're only fighting the hippo down, so that's not too bad. I go with calm mind to increase my defenses. Yeah, I knew he had high horsepower, but I still wasn't expecting to take all that much damage, I guess. I was wrong. Uh, yeah. Haven't even lowered it to a, a right amount of HP, really. I think anything I do now would quite probably defeat it. I think all I can do is check balls. And I haven't actually lowered it to a HP amount that really matters. There we go. Sneasler did its job. Even got Cedar Mastery for that one. Hey, nice. Right then. That should be pretty much everything we need to do here. Uh, who sees me? But you. He's, he's gone. He's just locking me in combat because he wants to. I think if I go home, my Pokemon heal. Let's do just that. That's what we caught. What's well, Patrodisu? 33k in cash, too. You can buy a lot of Ultra Balls with that. So Quilava got max. Creature's fur is most mysterious. It's wholly impervious to the burning touch of flame. Should Quilava turn its back to you, take heat. Such a posture indicates a forthcoming attack. Gumu is max. Hides away in the shade of trees where it's nice and humid. If the slime coating its body dries out, the Pokemon instantly becomes lethargic. There's another court that probably boosts me over the thing there if I didn't have it already. Typhlosion was already maxed out. Said to purify lost forsaken souls of its flames and guide them to the afterlife. I believe its form must be influenced by the energy of the sacred mountain, towering her sweet center. Pachirito also got got with electrified tail or cheeks. Be aware of the dangers. The dangers. And look at the amount of points that I got. Oh my goodness. Barely any. So this should take us back to the Cobalt Coastlands. So we are going after Giratina next. If I'm right in saying. We look at the Pokedex 2, 234 caught, 238 seen. The countdown continues. It really does. But I still haven't used Cherim on things that I need to use Cherim on yet. So we haven't got that maxed out yet. I worry about that a little bit. You did. You came up with the ultimate pickle recipe. Congratulations. Who am I talking to then? You're at the gate, yeah? So this is our next request. <laughs> what do you wish of me this time? Next step of our investigation is to look for massive mass outbreaks in the Cobalt Coastlands. Thanks as always for all the help. No problem, I guess. 
Right then, let's set off for the beachside camp. Are you ready? Off we go. I really should save before we go to another area, but... Skellic! What a fine surprise, me and you two while out fetching supplies for our settlement. Lava fill me in. You're looking into mass outbreaks that happen during rainstorms. Well then, I'll tell you what I recommend. Sticky globs. I've only just realized that that's his chest hair. Thank you. I have quite a few. Hitting a Pokemon with a sticky glob will slow it right down. I bought the recipe at the craft house myself by request from the settlement. Better get back to the Icelands. Not that it'll take much time with well-trained legs like these. You running, are you? Interesting. The Pearl Clan is recommending the Galaxy Team Sticky Globs. Right then, let's head off for the beachside camp. Off we go. See, I thought I was really close to finishing the game and just catching the Pokemon and finishing off the last couple of requests, but then they added in a ton of requests. I wasn't expecting that. It seems we arrived in time to catch another massive mass outbreak. Remember Gaelic's advice. Perhaps those sticky globs could be a big help. Now then, let's begin our research. You can let me know if you wish to give Munchlax some Magua berries as well. It will grant you a bit of insight into the Pokemon gathering in these massive mass outbreaks. Can we get a better name for them? Let's call them Mass Mass. I feel like Mass Mass is good. Oh, I guess I feed you some Magua berries. I did get some more after all. Wait, do I actually have to chuck them at you? Right, I'll talk to you. Okay. <laughs> I was going to start chucking them on the ground. Okay, so any really interesting outbreaks? I mean, look, li literally Magby. You might be able to get possibly a shiny Riolu. Uh, there's Basculin over here. I mean, I say the interesting ones are Magby. There's three Magby ones! And Piplup, obviously, is very interesting. Oh, and down here is Vulpix all the way down there. It's hidden away a little bit. There's Growlithe down here. Would you like 15 Magby? Oh, we'll focus on clearing out the ones to start off with. Being younger Pokemon should be a little easier for us to get the job done. Nowhere for me to hide again, is there? Oh, there's no just tree cover, and that's about it. I mean, I just realized, wouldn't scatterbangs be really good right now? Wait, you actually saw me? Look at them. They're both eyeing me. Nope, there's definitely grass here. I need to go on that. Look at them all staring my way. They know I'm here. They're level 61 after all. Vicious little baby Riolus. Them being such a high level as well. Makes it so it's just not as simple to catch them. I may be messing up a little bit there. Mario, stop looking at me like I did something bad. Oof. Shoot, I can't see. Uh, where am I landing?
Phew. <laughs> Two more to get, and we gotta gotta do them fast. So I think I'll uh, whoop over to. Interestingly, this outbreak is still here because it's now broke out into a ton of Lucario. But we did clear the first stage. I'm gonna go over to here because though I do want Magby's or even Piplups when I think about it. Looks like these massive mass outbreaks give me a lot of things to get. And I've got as many... Vulpixes. <laughs> I've seen like one the entire game. Oh, you know, I've seen one... Standard Vulpix. There's night here too. Shoot, how do I get into the grass now that I've... Committed to being down here? Look the other way, Ninetales. She landed behind that Vulpix. <laughs> Who did I send out? I guess that doesn't really work. That's a dragon, I'm not resistant to fire. So I think this works out neutral. Getting burn hurts, but usually burn is just physical attack. Wondering if in this game it was special attack too. This uh, Vulpix swarm is quite massive. Oh, the brainstorm's only a bit longer? Kinda gotta choose one that's really close then, haven't I? 